So as you guys know, I asked some question in my Instagram story about would you like me to film any English video once again? And most of you guys say yes, please. But my mom is walking around the house. And I'm getting nervous like every time I'm filming videos, someone just like walking around and seeking what I'm doing and stuff. Like, no, I didn't do anything. <laughs> so back to our story. Oh well, it is this too close. Our story of this video, I actually want to do a follow tutorial by walk again. So this one is Harley Bell wins. So now she's turned to Harley Bieber, right? Um, five step guide for faking a California glow. I want to look like a California girl. But I know my shirt just doesn't look like a California or beachy look, but that's all right because I don't know what to wear today. So, okay, let's begin with the video. What's up? It's Haley, and I'm going to be taking you through a tutorial of my favorite beachy, glowy makeup look. I like to start fresh faced, and I start with these glow drops by Dr. Barbara Storm. Okay. Hi, everyone. Oh my god. It's been a long day on my beach. I just got some kind of like tan because I just put oil on my skin. <laughs> Stop making up another story. Looking for some water. What is that? Glow drops. Let me see if I have it. Okay. Um, I don't have glow drops because it seems like a little bit, you know, glow doesn't like highlight. But I will use Nate's Born to Grow. Um, it's just kind of like liquid highlight, which is really pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna put this on. I. This is so annoying. Man. I use my hands on my face because I know where my hands have been. All right. So she put it on with her hands, and I'm about to follow her. So just like tiny drop like this. Because I know where my hands have been. Ooh, glow. And about my skincare routine these days, like people ask me a lot of questions about my skincare because. Oh, my skin does look definitely better, right? But I mean, pimples and red dark spot on my face, but it actually looked better, to be honest. I actually stopped going to the clinic for a big while. Like, build a car is full laser or taking care of my pimples just never turn out good. Like, every time I just feel like I'm wasting my money for something that is never get better. I got to spend more and more and more, and I also have to. Um, stop makeup for a while because my skin has got damaged by the way that they therapy my skin Which is I don't think it's good. My skin just gets so much sensitive even more when I went to the clinic quite often I actually compare myself between uh, like a year ago and last year. So then turns out Every goddamn coin that I pay for them. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't change my skin look better or even it doesn't healthy enough You know, so I just think about it again I decided to don't went to clinic anymore. I decided to looking for some skincare that would be really suited to my skin. Like it would help my skin look healthy inside and out. So since then, I drank a lot of water, more than six bottles for per day. So about the purchase that I try a lot, I try a lot, girl. I pay a lot of money. I didn't got any sponsor of my single skincare, I guess, because my skin, best skin. Look at me. I have a lot of mistake. I cannot be as someone who can like, oh my god. You Use this, you know, like my skin is actually bad. Is that so? About the products that I use as my routine, it doesn't that high cost because I know a lot of you guys cannot afford for that for every single month, right? Yeah, we will talk about it. We will talk about my skincare routine again. So, back into the video. So, I'm using this Tom Ford concealer. My hands are slippery. <laughs> Don't do that. Bad for your teeth. Basically, I'll just put it a little under my eyes. I was always told to tap your concealer, don't rub it. I get really red because my skin gets really, really dry, especially when it's like allergy season, which is now. Where are my concealer? So one of my favorite concealer for whole time, I will go for NARS. This one, this one, focus. Focus on me. Radiant Creamy Concealer. This one, this shade is Ginger. Yeah, it's my name. So I'm gonna um, put it under my eye, just like her. Even I had a so many red spots on my face, but I'm gonna go, just like her. I would dab it in my fingers, just like her. 
So about my face, because I have to put a lot of concealer on my face, I will go for a sponge because I'm kind of lazy to dab all of this with my hand. So yeah, I'm gonna turn this by sponge. Wow, look at this! You know the fact is even my skin looks really like bad. I have so many dark and red spots over here. But then if your skin is actually healthy, kind of like moisturized, and you can see how much it looks good. I don't even try so hard like I used to be, but that just you know just does it. Okay, for this side too. People thought that I pay for some cause for take care of my skin no if i have the money i might do but as my experience it doesn't help me i got to spend at least for two years to you know reboost my skin once again and i don't think that would work for my money because i cannot stop pay for that if you pay for it you could pay it forever because you know that this is the only one way to make your skin look better right but if you take care of from inside and it's out I think that would be like even more long lasting for your skin. I did a mistake a lot for my skin. I apologize and I will move on. Okay, next I would go into my bronzing because obviously with looking glowy, being tan, hello, comes with that. So I'm using this Tom Ford palette. Sadly, I don't have any comfort. <laughs> contour so i will go for maybelline this is a uh, fit me concealer this is dark shade i think this one could compare with comfort because this is shade can be a contour and i'll just like put on a little bit because she doesn't take it on too much and she also using brush which i have it yay and yeah i'm gonna dab tap on my face this one is from um, Real Tech. Oh wow, I'm look definitely in California girl now, yeah. California girl. And she put this on her cheekbone and anything more. I don't just like to put bronzer in my cheekbones, I put it on my actual cheeks too because oh, wow. I think it makes you look more tan. Okay. Blend it into the hairline a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna move on to eyebrows. Okay, so forehead and a little bit on chin, I will just tap one dot, dot, because I am already tan. <laughs> my technique, because I'm tired. <laughs> so yeah, on my jawline too. So I should say eyebrow. I'm really, really picky about my eyebrows. I usually just brush them and kind of call it a day because I don't like for my eyebrows to look too done. <laughs> Next, I'm going to... What do you mean by that? <laughs> she just brushed it on her eyebrow without adding the pigments on it. Okay. Well, <sighs> how do you why? Okay, um, girl, your eyebrow is so pigmented. So, no, I'm gonna add some. It feels like, you know, pigments on my eyebrow because it doesn't fear. If I left my brow just like this, nah. Move the next step. Ooh, move on to cheeks. I like this Giorgio Armani fluid here. I think when you're doing a sun-kissed, glowy type of thing, when you bring it across your nose, it kind of makes it actually look like you got caught in the sun. Cause you know when you get that tan, that's like that tan. You know. All right, girl. So I'm not on Giorgio, but I own NARS. <laughs> Shades, Doyce. Right, Doyce Vita. This is my favorite, favorite shade. All right, okay. Ooh, just this. This is enough for NARS because the pigment just. <gasps> okay, it's come up now. I really love this shade. I mean, it's pretty. It's totally pretty. I love it. Back to the Tom Ford palette. Take the highlighter. Tap a little on the nose. I don't own any of Tom Ford highlighter. So I'll go for another Super Hills. This is one of my favorite for all time. And this is Oh Mercy. I use this quite a lot. Like you guys, if you follow me exactly, you will see how much I use this one. And um, for this case, he used a finger again. I, I will go for my brush. I think my brush is just waiting for me. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Add a little bit real. Wow. I did not even put on like quite a scratch you know heavy and just like tap 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 wow <laughs> whoa and 
and this thing is I can't stop is my nose it's growing right uh -huh. mm. okay next up oh, right on a cupid's bow I still just looked like I was flipping off the camera so I use this Armani pressed face powder and I just do it like right in the areas where I get a little bit oily big frothy blotch and powder today is Chick Chick Kids. This is also one of my favorite. You can see, you can see. Like, wow. So I'm gonna tap on beside my nose, over here, in the middle of my forehead. But I have the um, 42, this is S9, you discern me. And the shade is definitely tan like this. So I'm gonna add this shade on my eyelid because it, it's, it's actually close to be bronzer too. So, yeah, yeah, my finger, just like her. It's so easy, duh. Okay, next. Slay. Slay. Yes, I use a uh, MAC. Mascara. If I had to choose two things to take to a desert island, for sure it would be lip balm and mascara. I would die without lip balm. I put it on the bottom lash because I feel like those guys get absorbed Okay, mascara, mascara without curling lashes, haha, <laughs> because she got some lash extension. I dare you. Um, so yeah, I think I might curl my eyelash a little bit because it doesn't look good when I'm not curling my lashes. I try to follow every single step she got, but the thing is, the products I have it doesn't the same brand as her, so this is not easy to follow celebrities to do makeup tutorial sometimes because you guys can tell like everything they use is, is quite really expensive. This one they call in brand it says uh, Lily by Ray. It could feel your eyelash look like this. I don't even try so hard to um, put it on and just like add more step on it and you guys can see like how much is different. I mean, wow, wow, right, um, don't deny it, this is so, actually so good, see that? And this shade is brown, as you guys see, it's pretty, so pretty! I want that glow for the gods. The last thing that I do is always a little bit of lip color, so I'm going to use this stick. I never put lipstick on like that. So I usually just... I'm looking for this shade and I'm down with the new Supermom. <laughs> it's actually right here but I, I just see that it's quite similar color. Do you guys think so? This is Way With Crayon number RC5. Uh, Warishing Rose. Nice name. All right, so she said the way she put it on her lips, it doesn't like yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like penny, right? Okay. I got to do like dark face all the time, even though I'm putting on my lips because she did. It's even more orangey, I guess so. Still pretty. I mean, no lie. pretty okay and she used her finger just like blending out a little bit okay what next tapping on and my last and final 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 thing because this is my favorite type of makeup to wear in the summertime you have to protect your face so I'm gonna put a little bit of SPF, SPF setting powder, setting powder? what is that Sunscreen setting powder? I don't think I have any 
sunscreen setting powder in my own store so if you guys don't mind i will skip that step and let's go for my hair it looks so cool right i like it i mean it's to give me some kind of texture that glowing lightly and i feel wearable it feels like this is good wearing is every day because the products i have it doesn't um that high brand that much i have like quite nars and another super really hero doesn't high brand but it's also good quality and yes again thank you for watching this video and i would be really even more happy if you guys click the subscribe button so i'm so grateful to you guys watching videos and see you guys next time bye